and welcome to Chiang Mai, Thailand. I thank you for joining me today. My friend, I want to give you something to think about. And it has to do with a question that was asked of the Lord in Luke chapter 13, verse 23. And it has to do with how many people will be saved. The Lord Jesus said, few. The Lord said it in Luke and Matthew, a question that is relevant, that was relevant for that day and is relevant for our day today. So let's read Luke chapter 13, verse 23. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, verse 24, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I, I say unto you, will seek to enter in, and shall not be able. Now, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 through 14, gives a more detailed answer on this same subject. So let's look at it. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. The Lord said, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Verse 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Is there scripture that can give us more light or insight about this few that the Lord is talking about? Yes, there is. And it's found in Matthew chapter 13, verses 3 through 9. The Lord Jesus was talking to the disciples and to the people. And he spoke a parable unto them, a parable of the sower. And he said, a sower went forth to sow. And in these scriptures, the Lord gives us an idea of what this word means few looks like. So let's look at it. Matthew chapter 13 verse 3. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. Verse 4. And when he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Verse 5. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. Verse 6, And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. Verse 7, and some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. Verse 8, But other fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Verse 9, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Now, in Matthew chapter 13, verse 18 through 23, the Lord gives the meaning of this parable. Now, the Lord Jesus, he, gives, he gave us four scenarios in this parable. And Matthew chapter 13, verse 19, verifies the seed is the Word of God being planted in the heart of men. And we look further, and as we look further, you will see only one quarter of the seed fell upon good ground. So let's read verse 19. 
When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receiveth seed by the wayside. Now, like I said, the Lord gave us four scenarios in this parable. Seed that fell by the wayside, seed that fell upon stony ground, seed that fell among thorns, seed that fell on good ground. I started out by saying, I want to give you something to think about. The Lord said in Luke and Matthew that there be few that be saved. And in Matthew chapter 13, in the parable of the sower, the Lord gives us a number, one out of four, that hear the gospel will be saved. This is only 25% that hear the word of God fell upon good ground that made it. This is something very important to think about. Where are you in your walk with God? The Lord said, many will seek to enter in, but will not be able. This, my friend, is something to think about. And I would not feel right if I did not tell you why so many people will miss heaven. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 through 27, pretty much lays it out. And it tells us it is because we are not built upon the true foundation. What is the true foundation? Acts chapter 2, verse 38 says we must repent and be baptized in water, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ not in titles, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is the born-again experience. And our Lord said in John chapter 3, verse 3 and verse 5, If we are not born again, we cannot see and we cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So this is just something to think about. In this parable, the Lord tells us only 25% of those that hear the Word of God are going to be saved. I didn't say it. The Lord said it. This is something to think about. Thank you for joining me today. Lord bless you. May the Lord bless your family. Prepare your hearts. Get your house in order. Thank you for joining me. Lord bless you and your precious family. In Jesus' name, amen.